Some time ago, Jar Scott from JHS listed a Clan Centaur on Reverb. And the price was half a million dollars. Now, it wasn't just any clan, it was the very first clan ever built. It had serial number two though, because serial number one belongs to Bill Finnegan, he set that aside for himself, but that was built at a later date. So the very first clan in existence has serial number two and he was selling it. And everybody <laughs> was talking about it. Articles were being written, a lot of people thought it was hilarious and a lot of people got really mad. Because you know, that's that's what you do. Now JHS released their Not The Clun DIY Centaur style pedal last week um, and it seemed only fitting to list that on Reverb as well. So I did and it was interesting. So I made some cool photos and uh, I gave my Not The Clun serial number two obviously and a little graphic on the inside and mine doesn't have the goop so you can really see the magic diodes now here's my listing you know what it is if you want the best not to clun it's this not to clun this is the first jhs pedals not to clun ever built even though it has serial number two josh scott set aside serial number one for himself but it was built at a later date this pedal was never gooped so you can still see the magical diodes Perfect for reverse engineering, but also just super cool to see a true piece of history. What you see is what you get. No box, no instructions. This pedal is in perfect condition. You can save yourself $495,000 by not buying the first Clan Centaur, but the first JHS pedals, not the Clan. I would have kept this as an investment, but I'm getting married soon. So unfortunately, I need to let go of it now to fund the wedding. Offers are welcome, the buyer gets a personalized message from me. So the listing went up, it was up for about an hour, and then this happened. So I emailed Reverb and got this response. So we went back and forth a bit, I explained that it was my intention to sell, and of course I asked some very wise ass questions about the regulations and then an hour later I got this email and we were back up and running. And from there on this last week I've got a lot of messages and not all of them were very positive. So this one is from Reverb. Hello Sasha, this is AJ. I already have a Nauticlum but I had a question. Where are you looking to verify you got the number two Nauticlum? I'm asking because I want to know what number I got. Thank you. Well, AJ, thank you for reaching out. If you look at the bottom of the base plate, the serial number should be there. Mine says number two, so that's why I know it's it's number two. Now, a lot of people are very nice. Such a nice demo on the pre-order list for January. JHS just continues to take my money. The concept and packaging are genius. The whole reason I bought it today was because of the giggle I got over the name. Crazy reason, but impulses, LOL. You know, dude, I absolutely understand. I know the impulses. This is absolutely f genius. Then I got a message from a buddy of mine from Germany, Mario, and um, he spotted the listing on a German pedal board group. And as we all know, Germans are notorious for their fantastic sense of humor. Luckily, some people understood the joke and, uh, well, this is in German, but the gist of it, he is explaining to other Germans that it's a joke for me. Zachary, haha, Sasha is hilarious. Rob says, I was about to pull the trigger, then noticed he didn't goop the magic diodes, so now it's a hard pass for me. I can understand that, you want the, the, the full original experience. This guy has some problems, I got my junk stuck in a Pringles can. Will this help me to dislodge myself? Well, no, you obviously need the goop. So a lot of people were very positive and a lot of people also love the fact that you have to build it yourself, that it's like a kit and an experience unboxing. But obviously one of the Germans didn't think the DOI stuff was very funny. What he's basically saying here is that you have to check out your own groceries and you have to build stuff yourself and maybe when before the store opens you have to uh, unload the, the truck with all the groceries he, he doesn't like doing stuff i really do not like diy smiley 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 not gonna buy this nightmare letting the consumer do the assembling work i do not understand this buy one and put it together is this an overdrive jhs cheaper pedals run from 75 to 100. if this is an overdrive no way it's an overdrive there are many budget-friendly overdrive pedals in the $30 to $50 US 
um, euro range that are better than this. JHS Pedals is selling an assemble yourself pedal called the Nauticlan. So some greedy douche maholic, <laughs> that's me, I'm the douche maholic, spent 15 minutes assembling one and is trying to sell it for $5,685 on reverb. Uh, it, it's 5,000 euros, so the dollar thing may, ch may change because, you know, exchange rates. Um, I love humanity, but people suck. People were also really mad about shipping costs, you know? I'm, it's not free to ship stuff, I have to charge shipping costs. This is a troll! It's an ad for Dude's YouTube channel. He's fishing for views and subscribers. I am. <laughs> Please subscribe. Dude, what is this? Come on, trying to rob people. You should be ashamed. Man, I grew up as a chubby kid with a lazy eye. I'm always ashamed, no worries. Anyone can write a number two on something. These kids are $99. You're a thief, LOL. And selling yours for 5,500 US dollars on reverb. Maybe you want to make a stunt. Yes, I want to make a stunt. Funny, but I'm suspicious. The first not a clown ever assembled is in the Netherlands. And this seems to be playing to Josh's I own Elon number two. I think he means clown. The first one assembled video. Well, yes, Colombo, it does. A lot of people were pissed I didn't include the box. No box, hard pass. Does your not a clown listing come with the original box? No, only a personalized message as stated in the listing. Your loss, I would have bought it if you had the box. Damn it, on to the wedding. He's literally funding his wedding with this pedal, attempting to fund his wedding. He's better off getting a loan, LOL. What is it with Americans and loans? Just save money and buy stuff you don't have to get yourself in trouble and i got a lot of offers too i have just suggested 50 euros it is a used pedal and, and here are a few more offers i got on reverb as well um the pedal is still for sale though and uh, i'm i'm not gonna use it to fund my wedding obviously i can pay for my own wedding um but any offer over 500 euros will be accepted and i will add another 500 to that i would love to say i'm gonna double the amount but you know if anybody buys it for 5000 euros i'm gonna be super broke so i'm just gonna add 500 euros to any offer that comes in over 500 euros and i'm gonna donate the whole amount to the futselbank a uh, literal translation is food bank it's a great organization here in the netherlands it helps people in poverty um, with groceries clothes whatever just to uh, make sure they can uh, live and provide for their people because there are 1.2 million people in poverty living in the Netherlands right now and we have about 18 million people so there are a lot of them and a lot of them are children as well um, so yeah if anybody wants to help out anything over 500 euros will be accepted I'll add another 500 and uh, I'll post uh, proof of donation to my Instagram stories and to the YouTube community thing page all right um yeah this was a super fun experiment i didn't expect to get so much hate but there was a lot of hate thanks for that it made for a great video and um as always thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and see you next time bye